Do you realize your life may hold an unintended gift, not only for yourself and your benefit, but for the benefit of so many other people? I have with me tonight Amy Bryant, who's authored a book called You Can Go Home Again. Amy, how did your book start out? Well, Maura, it did not start as a book. It started with a group that I was in. I was in a group of women and we used to get together and our whole goal was to talk about the positive things going on in our lives and we would tell stories to uplift each other. And people started telling me, you need to write some of your stories down. So I began writing them and I wrote them in a, in a word document called Dancing Words because they were like words just dancing in my head. Oh. And I would send them to different friends, uh, the ones that I thought were relevant to their lives, and then people were saying, well, you want to write a book, which was the farthest thing from my mind. So one day I was at a pool party, and there was a gentleman who had said, oh, I just wrote a book and I had it published, and I said, oh, I'm writing a book too, and I didn't know where that came from. <laughs> And I forgot all about it, it was just party conversation, and about four months later I saw the same gentleman again and he said, well, how's your book coming? And I said, uh, my book? He said, you get it done and I'm going to format it for you. And that's how the book was started. Well, Amy, I think you need to tell the viewers your, about your book. Your book, You Can Go Home Again, is really an anthology of stories about your life. And your life is very unique. Please tell the uh, viewers how so. Well, the book uh, is in three sections, home to Africa, home to the Caribbean, and home to your childhood. And um, when people read it, you see, the book is not an autobiography per se. It's more, I have the second title is Reflections of a Nubian Daughter, and actually it is my reflections about my observations of my life. It's about growing up in America from a multicultural, multiracial background and the effects that that had on my life, uh, and taking it from a positive aspect. Uh, a number of people who have read it have said, my goodness, you know, you went through a lot of things in your life, but you brought it full circle into something positive and uplifting, which is really the goal. And the other goal of the book is really to have people hopefully go back and look at their own heritage and really celebrate the heritage that they come from. Well, that was a very good summary. Very good, Amy. I didn't even have to, usually I ask 10,000 questions. I will tell you this, I know Amy because we're both members here at the Safety Harbor Spa. Our original conversation was that you thought I was Jewish. So that started the multicultural conversation because you said you were part of the Jewish sorority at uh, Cornell yes. University. But I will say this to anyone who's listening to this program. When you introduced your book and you did a few book readings, there were a number of people from so many different backgrounds and you could have heard a pin drop as Amy shared her stories. There's something in them that resonated with people of all ages, all ethnic backgrounds, and all personal experiences. So even though this in many ways had to do with your story, it was so universal. Before we go, Amy, where can people find You Can Go Home Again? Well, right now it is as at an ebook on Amazon. It can be purchased as an ebook on Amazon, and I have uh, copies myself that can be purchased through the mail. Well, I think I'll put it on. Uh, we'll post it later. All right, okay. We'll post it. Okay. Very good. Well, I opened it up with a single question: Do you realize that sometimes your life can have a gift? not only for yourself, but also for others. Amy, I would definitely say, having read your book, that you have found a way to realize how your multicultural background has been such a gift to you, but in writing it and sharing it with others, it has been a gift to others, including myself. So I hope that you give some thought to this today because you may have elements in your own life that may prove to be a gift to you and to others as well. This is Maura with More For You and author Amy Bryant. Bye-bye now.